Stoko notation is the first phonemic script used for sign languages. It was created by William Stoko for American Sign Language (ASL) with Latin letters and numerals used for the shapes they have in fingerspelling and iconic glyphs to transcribe the position, movement, and orientation of the hands. It was first published as the organizing principle of sign language structure, an outline of the visual communication systems of the American Deaf 1960, and later also used in A Dictionary of American Sign Language on Linguistic Principles, by Stokoe et al., 1965. In the 1965 dictionary, signs are themselves arranged alphabetically, according to their Stokoe transcription, rather than being ordered by their English glosses as in other sign language dictionaries. This made it the only ASL dictionary where the reader could look up a sign without first knowing how to translate it into English. The Stoko notation was later adapted to British Sign Language BSL in Kyle et al., 1985 and to Australian Aboriginal Sign Languages in Kendon 1988. In each case the researchers modified the alphabet to accommodate phonemes not found in ASL. The Stoko notation is mostly restricted to linguists and academics. The notation is arranged linearly on the page and can be written with a typewriter that has the proper font installed. Unlike signwriting or the Hamburg notation system, it is based on the Latin alphabet and is phonemic, being restricted to the symbols needed to meet the requirements of ASL or extended to BSL, etc., rather than accommodating all possible signs. For example, there is a single symbol for circling movement, regardless of whether the plane of the movement is horizontal or vertical. Topic. Writing direction Stoko notation is written horizontally left to right like the Latin alphabet plus limited vertical stacking of movement symbols, and some diacritical marks written above or below other symbols. This contrasts with signwriting, which is written vertically from top to bottom plus partially free two-dimensional placement of components within the writing of a single sign. Topic symbol usage Stoko coined the terms tab tabula or sign location, des designator or handshape and orientation, and sig signification or motion and action. These are used to categorize features of sign language phonemes, somewhat like the distinction between consonant, vowel, and tone is used in the description of oral languages. A sign is written in the order tab des sig, tds. Compound signs are separated with a double dashed pipe, approximately tds tds. A serious deficiency of the system is that it does not provide for facial expression, mouthing, eye gaze, and body posture, as Stoko had not worked out their phonemics in ASL. Verbal inflection and non-lexical movement is awkward to notate, and more recent analyses such as those of Ted Sapala have contradicted Stoko's set of motion phonemes. There is also no provision for representing the relationship between signs in their natural context, which restricts the usefulness of the notation to the lexical or dictionary level. Nonetheless, Stokoe demonstrated for the first time that a sign language can be written phonemically just like any other language. In the tables below, the first column is a web-based approximation of the Stokoe symbol using the inventory available in Unicode, and the second is an ASCII substitution for the purpose of citing examples in this article. Proper display of the third column requires the Stoko font available at the external link below. Without that font, you will see the corresponding ASCII character, as used in Mandel 1993. <laughs> tab location The tab symbols are a null sign for a neutral location and iconic symbols for parts of the head, arm, and torso. In addition, the des handshape symbols below may be used to indicate that the location is the passive hand in a specific shape. Given a handshape, des, d, asterisk qd would be d signed at the face, jd the same handshape signed at the elbow, and 9d on the inside of the wrist. Asterisk d is not used for a specific handshape, but is a stand-in here for whichever des is used. Asterisk asterisk proper display requires installation of the Stoko font available at the external link below. Topic des handshape. The symbols for handshapes are taken from the ASL manual alphabet. A represents a fist, the handshape used for fingerspelling a and also s and t, since the difference is not significant outside fingerspelling and initialisms. B represents a flat hand, the handshape used for fingerspelling b and 4, etc. When a des involves two hands, two letters are used. 
DES symbols may also be used as tabs. For example, QB represents a flat hand, B, located at the face, Q, and represents a dominant flat hand B acting on a passive flat hand B. The latter is disambiguated from two B hands acting together by using another letter for the tab, such as O stroke BB for two B hands acting in neutral space, or QBB for both hands at the face. Besides the shape of the hands, the DES includes their orientation. This is indicated, when necessary, with subscripts, which are introduced in the next section. There are three diacritics that modify the shape of the DES. A dot placed above it shows that a finger not normally seen is prominent, usually because it is involved in the production of the sign. For example, ASCII a is a fist with the thumb extended, as in U not. Three dots or ticks over a letter shows the fingers are flexed, so that B, ASCII, B is a flexed flat hand, and V, V is two flexed fingers. The forearm tab sign prefixed to the DES ASCII J shows that the forearms are prominent in the production of the sign, as in BJB carat omega tree. Topic SIG movement and DES orientation The movement of the hand, or SIG, is written with superscripted letters after the DES, as D sharp any DES D which closes. Multiple movement SIGs are arranged linearly when the movements are sequential, as in TD times times any DES D which touches a tab T, moves down, and touches again, one but stacked one above the other when signed simultaneously, as in TD times a DES which moves down while in contact with the tab, to a dot placed above the SIG indicates that the motion is sharp, as in TD times sharp contact by the DES D, three while a dot placed after the SIG indicates that the motion is repeated, as in TD times repeated contact by the DES, TDX in ASCII. A tilde with a two-hand DES, TDD's tilde, indicates that first one hand performs the SIG, then the other. Without the tilde, both hands are understood to act together. A subset of the SIG symbols used for motion are also used to indicate the orientation of the hand. In this use they are subscripted after the DES instead of superscripted, as in D sharp any DES D which starts off closed. Point four Stoko analyzed the orientation of the hand as part of the tab, the handshape. Asterisk proper display requires installation of the Stoko font available at the external link below. 1 TDX VX in ASCII 2 TDX V in ASCII 3 TDX, in ASCII 4 closing hand and closed hand would be D sharp and hashtag D in the ASCII system. Several linguists, including Kyle and Wall, state that Stoko's tab conflates two parameters, handshape and orientation, and split off ORI orientation of the hand as a fourth parameter. Kendon, however, notes how this greatly complicates the phonological description of signs, and prefers to retain orientation as an aspect of the handshape, with changes of orientation analyzed as other changes in the hands, rather than as changes in an independent parameter. <laughs> Relative location When the tab is a hand shape, or the DES consists of two hands, a symbol may be placed between the two letters to indicate their relative position. These include a few of the movement, orientation letters above. In addition, there are symbols to indicate position above, below, next to, and behind. The underscore on the B in BL shows that the L hand is placed under a B hand, with or without contact, etc. Asterisk the free font does not cover these symbols. Topic. Example This is the ASL word snake in Stoko notation. The first letter, like AU, shows that the word is signed at the lower face mouth or chin. The second, V, shows that the hand has the shape of a finger spelled V. The V has two diacritics, the three dots, above it show that the fingers are bent curled, while the subscript, shows that the hand is held with the back of the hand facing up. The last letters, at, are a compound sig, the spiral shows a circular motion, and the tack underneath shows that the motion proceeds outward. This is a mimetic sign for snake, mimicking the motion of a fanged snake. It is alphabetized under to the tab U, then by the des V, then by the sig at. The searcher does not need to know what it means or that it is glossed with the English word snake in order to look it up. Following is a passage from Goldilocks. The story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Deep in the woods, there is a house sitting on a hill. If you go in, you will see their papa bear reading the paper. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Published use of Stoko notation. 
The first use of Stokoe notation appeared in the ASL dictionary compiled by William Stokoe, for which it was devised. Other indigenous sign language dictionary projects, for example the Dictionary of British Sign Language, English, ed. David Bryan, Pub. Faber and Faber 1992, and Signs of a Sexual Nature have included Stokoe notation. The notation has also been used to analyse Australian Aboriginal Sign Languages. These non-ASL projects have had to extend the notation to cover phonemes not found in ASL. See also AS alphabet, a simplified notation used in ASL English dictionaries for deaf children and deaf education Hamnosis, a phonetic notational system used primarily for linguistic research Signwriting, a popular system that arranges symbols in a two-dimensional space rather than in a line C5s, 